everybody. Uh, this video is probably gonna be a little bit longer. Uh, the little intro here I'm doing is not, but uh, we've got some videos that we took uh, in the winter time uh, fishing this year, and uh, we're gonna start doing something. I don't know. I think by calling it Fishing Fridays, just something as a regular deal. Uh, probably gonna start off with uh, you know two or three Fridays worth of uh, these past videos that we already have. Uh, taking a look at the boats and some of the areas we fished and some of the successes we had this winter uh, Maybe do a kind of a montage or some photos and try to do some fun stuff and some funny stuff I've got some videos from some hunting trips that we did uh, with my brother this year So uh, y'all enjoy this video that we're doing uh, It's just gonna be going over the boat that I run uh, For my guide business and uh, you know if y'all ever need a guide or anything like that around the area look me up And if I'm not available, I, I guide here and also in uh, Matagorda uh, with a good buddy of mine, uh, uh, Dwayne Green. So if you want to uh, look us up, I'll put a link in the description and, uh, you know, my contact info in the, in the, in the video. So uh, give us a like and a subscribe and uh, hope you like the video. Uh, we bought this boat from Rockport Marine, so I'm going to put their stuff there. Uh, Jeff and Dina over there are great. Uh, if you need a boat or you need service, uh, look them up. They're, they're awesome. I'm going to get with them probably hopefully in the next few days and and uh, do a little interview with them. They've been great for us since we've been down here and man, uh, they'll get your stuff in and out and treat you right. So uh, y'all have a great day and we'll talk to you soon. So I get a lot of people asking me about what boat I run and which one I like to run. Uh, I have a pretty short attention span. So I go through boats i like to trade them i like to try different stuff to see what exact but right now i've got this uh 25 hdx dargle cat uh guys over at jeff at rockport marine sold it to me and those are some good people if you get a chance in rockport you need your boat service or whatever man them guys are great jeff and dina uh, they really take care of me especially other guides man they're real conscious of people that need to get back out on the water uh, I'm not as busy as a lot of these other guides, but uh, they really make a lot of effort to get people out there. But anyway, the reason I like this boat, it's, I don't know, it's, it kind of grows on you. It's uh, sometimes I look at it and I'm like, man, that's an ugly boat. And then sometimes I'm thinking, man, that's a pretty cool boat. And the reason I tried this one out, I had a Showwater Cat and I've got four kids and my wife and all, pretty much everybody likes to fish, you know, they don't all like to fish as much as I do, but uh, they all like to fish. Man, this boat will run in six, seven inches of water all day long. Uh, you can trim that jack plate up. Uh, it'll get up in about, I don't know, depending on whether it's muddy or not, it'll get up in about 10. Oh, I mean, not 10, but it'll get out in about, uh, about 18 inches of water realistically. I mean, everybody thinks they can get up in six inches of water and you just really can't. And if you do, you won't have a boat very long. But uh, the thing, the cool thing about this boat is that it's got a 112 gallon tank. It runs in six, eight inches of water if you want it to, if you're running through it. Uh, it's got these huge cats on it, catamaran hull. And one thing a lot of people don't realize is i don't know if i can get a very good shot of it but you see where these guys are tapered down it's like an anti-splash kind of deal i don't know what the technical term is uh but man this is the driest boat i think you will ever ride in for the kind of work and the kind of fishing that i like to do when you're going across the bay and you are cutting the waves at an angle you know typically you get so much spray on you and it's not much fun uh, this boat right here I like rarely ever get even drops of water on that windshield uh, it's got a ton of storage in it uh, live well here live well there another live well in the back back here uh, I think I've got like an 85 quart cooler that I can uh, put right inside this under the seat got storage under the seat uh this particular boat has got a 250 suzuki on it which is nice uh i think it's probably a little underpowered for a boat this big this is a legit 25 foot 
a uh, huge casting deck, which is something I really like. Uh, you know, you can you can fish four or five guys out of this boat easy. Um, I was a little worried. I've never had a boat with a tower on it like that. I was a little worried about smacking that tower with the rods all the time. Uh, that didn't happen uh, as much as I fished out of already. Uh, and man, this thing is so comfortable to ride in. It is by far the smoothest running boat I've ever had. And I've been through a ton of them from, you know, nicer boats like this to just John boats. Uh, so if you get a chance to ride in one or you get a chance to buy one, uh, man, I highly, highly recommend this boat. Uh, I highly recommend the people of Rockport, uh, if you can find one. Uh, I know everybody right now is pretty much, oh, I don't know, like a year out, I think, on getting these boats. I was fortunate I went in there. I wasn't really even looking for another boat, and this one is there. And uh, the guy that ordered it backed out or something happened. I'm not really sure what happened, but uh, I run a Simrad Go 9 on mine uh, with the Google Earth um package on it which is man that's the coolest thing i've ever run man you can zoom in on all the sand holes you can really check out spots that you're thinking about going to uh while you're on the water especially in the texas coast without having to just plan everything out uh on google earth or something like that uh, and it, it makes it really really nice if you're thinking about going to a spot it's like well i want to try this this dude over here well, get in there, see if there's any grass beds, see if there's anything that you want to fish, any drop-offs, any, any, you know, boat cuts. And uh, I can't tell you how many times I've used this on boat cuts, uh, being able to actually just see the darker blue water off the Google Earth photos. And the photos on this seem to be way better. It's more of an updated version, I guess, uh, than the generic photos you get off of Google Earth or Google Earth Pro on the internet. So uh, I run uh, dual power poles on the back. Uh, I think pretty much all of them have uh, remotes now. And this this boat too, one thing I like about it is uh, I took this thing snapper fishing. Uh, we couldn't keep any, but I, I wanted to go offshore and try to find some other stuff. I took this thing 45 miles offshore. Uh, of course, I keep a Garmin in reach and I've got the uh, two-way radio on it. And I run another 20 miles while I was offshore and then another 45 or 50 miles back. So I did about 110 miles on a half a tank of fuel in this thing. Uh, realistically, if you're running 30 in this boat offshore, I was getting like two and a half miles a gallon, which, you know, it's uh, it's not as big a boat, but surface area on this boat, uh, I can fish more people out of this than you can in a, you know, a 30 or 32 foot center console. And going offshore in some of the chop, uh, it makes it really nice. So, Anyway, that's a little bit about what it is, why I like it. And, uh, you know, so if you've got any questions about it, man, leave some comments or, uh, or get a hold of me on uh, any of the platforms and, and I'll sure tell you what I know about it. And if you've got some questions or want to see some better videos at running, if you're thinking about getting one, let me know. I'll make a video for you guys. So anyway, that's what I got.